everyone! So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make this heart-shaped jewelry box with a ballerina inside for Valentine's Day. So let's begin! First, we're going to need some pink clay and roll it out into a log. Then, using your rolling pin, we're going to flatten it out, but not too thin. And then, take out your X-Acto knife and cut it out into a strip with a width of 1 cm. Afterwards, we're going to cut out two identical strips. So then we're going to shape the two strips into C shapes. And take the inner edges and pinch them together. Cut out the extra clay with scissors or your X-Acto knife and pinch it and blend it in. Now for two remaining edges, we're going to connect them, thus making a heart. And once again, pinch them and blend it in. And you're going to want to bake this according to your package's instructions. Afterwards, flatten out another piece of clay with the same color and press on the heart box. And cut around it so we'll be having a base for our box. Then you can blend it in using your fingers or a blending tool and bake that again. Once it's baked, cut out a strip of clay, uh, roughly half a centimeter, and then wrap it around the box to make the lid. We're just seeing um, how much clay we're going to need to make the lid. And this is just an estimate, um, it doesn't have to be accurate because we're going to glue the lid onto the box so it doesn't have to fit into the box, but it's just a rough guide for us to make the lid. And I'm also marking where the indent is for the heart. And like the box, just pinch the two outer edges together and bake that one as well. Once it's baked, once again, take out a flat piece of clay and press the lid onto it and cut it out. Once again, bake the lid, and then we're going to start off with the ballerina. So using some skin colored clay, we are going to make the legs, just roll it onto little sausages and join them together. Now it is helpful to have a flat object that, object that you can hold, like this box that I have. And now to make the skirt, take out some pink clay, shape it into a cone and cut off the pointy part. <laughs> Afterwards, using your needle tool, indent some lines to make it look like a ballerina skirt. Sort of like a cupcake base. Then for the torso, just shape the clay into a teardrop and attach it onto the skirt. Next, we are going to make her little arms. Once again, just take some skin colored clay and roll it onto a sausage. I am putting one of the hands 
down and creating her head. And then I'm adding a ball of clay onto her head. And then I will paint the hair later after it's baked. So I'm just attaching the other arm. Afterwards, we're going to attach the leg onto the ballerina. So we're going to lay down the ballerina. And I suggest using some liquid polymer clay or Fimo Deco Gel to um, help bond or glue the legs together. I didn't have some on hand, so I'm just blending it into the skirt. And then you're going to bake that as well. Make sure you don't burn it, so just keep an eye on it. So I found this metallic card. You can use tin foil as well. Um, just cutting it out into the, a heart shape to make the mirror for the jewelry box and just attach it inside the lid as so. And then after you're done, you're just going to paint however you like. I use some gold um, paint and made some roses in there. And I also painted the ballerina. And then using super glue, you're just going to attach everything together. And then you're done so happy valentine's to you guys thank you guys so much for watching my tutorial and see you guys later bye